Friday! My name's Lowry and I'm here to talk to you today about my job, which is acting. I am an actor and I graduated from the Guildford School of Acting in 2017. Um, I studied musical theatre, um, but I chose to go to GSA, the Guildford School of Acting, because it has a very good reputation of training musical theatre graduates to be very strong actors in their own right. And I knew that I wanted to do musicals as well as plays. Um, so since graduating, I've done three big jobs and I'm going to talk to you briefly about all of them and a different sort of responsibility which comes with each job. Um, being an actor, things change a lot, you have to move around a lot, you have to adapt to different situations, so I guess I can give you some examples. Um, so the first show I did was a musical called Salad Days. Um, it was a proper musical, lots of singing, acting, dancing, everything. Um, and that started off in London. So we did a run of that in London. That was in Waterloo. Um, and it turned out to be really successful. So the show then got a transfer, which meant that the Theatre Royal in Bath also wanted to put it on for a few weeks, which meant that the whole cast, the whole production, the set, everything, that was then transferred to Bath. So with that, we had to adapt. We had to move, I had to find a new place to live for a few weeks, which was really exciting, but also a bit scary. Um, we had to adapt the show, so essentially the theatre we were in in London was really quite intimate. And then the theatre went in Bath, seats I think 750 people, 800 people. So that was a big adaptation, lots of change, but it was challenging and it was exciting and it was really good fun. Um, the next job I went on to do was a play. Um, it was an all-female adaptation of Lord of the Flies. Um, I don't know if you know the story of Lord of the Flies, but it's essentially one of the biggest themes is survival of the fittest. So naturally, in that play, there was a lot of um, fight choreography, which meant fake fighting, which had to look realistic. Um, so that job came with an extra responsibility for me. So, along with the role I played, I also got assigned the role of fight captain, which meant it was my responsibility to make sure that all of the fighting in the show, which was choreographed, um, was rehearsed safely, all of the props we used, we had fake staffs, we had fake daggers, we had fake blood, and um, I had to make sure that was all up and running for every show. I led the warm-ups and then every night after every show I would go around all of the cast members and note down any problems anyone had, anything that might potentially become unsafe, make sure that was rectified and send it off to our fight choreographer. The exciting thing that came with that job is that you will be given a responsibility fee, um, which meant that I got a little bit more money, which was nice. Um, so musicals tend to have a dance captain. Um, some plays have a movement captain and they essentially do the same job um, just to make sure everyone's fit, everyone's properly warmed up, any props we use are safe and the choreography is slick and to show standard and to make sure that everything goes smoothly. So that was cool. And then the final job I just did was a play called Pavilion. And um, that moves on to my next topic which comes with acting. It's an element called networking. So hopefully when you leave drama school, you'll come out with an agent who will help basically get your name out there, help build you a reputation, but you also have to put the work in and sort of create that reputation yourself. Um, so the reason I'm moving on to this subject is the director of Pavilion had actually seen me in Lord of the Flies. Um, so even though I still had to audition and you know, do the recall like everyone else, like got sent the material, met all of the producers, the director, everyone, um, the writer. The director had seen me in something previously and liked me. So it just goes to show that a lot of acting um, comes from who you know, um, who's seen you in things, the reputation you have, like that director might ring the other director if they know them, ask them what you're like to work with. Um, so it's all about having a really great um, work ethic, um, making friends, keeping contacts, basically just working hard, 
and enjoying what you do. And I guess it'll shine through. And if it's really money, what you want to do, it's very difficult. It's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of rejection. But if you really want to do it, go for it when you're on the stage. Totally worth it.